Hey y'all, this is Scubble Caddy Teen, and today we have quite the different episode as we adventure to the far off lands of outside where we're reviewing Ultra Reviews, the where we're reviewing Cyberverse Warrior Class Soundwave. Now, this is, you know, this is a pretty standard Soundwave evergreen design, is sort of what they're going for. He has the, all the basic sort of trademarks if we compare them side by side. But, you know, this one has a really, has some decent articulation. That, 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 and that. But, you may notice he's a bit back heavy. And there's a reason for that. A big ol' alien reason, if you know what I mean. BAM! Clear plastic laser beak. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get it in, but yeah. And uh, something I love is that the little things, the little hinges that hold him in are the claws. That's such a sweet little detail. He's... This is the problem, it's hard to get it back in. But, uh, onto the transformation. You scoop up his head. Flip over his feet. You gotta get them fit just right. And you gotta get his, uh, little pegs on his arms aligned just right. Looks really nice. It would roll well if it wasn't on rocks and such. It is a little bare. You may notice the sharpie I put on the front. It is criminally bare. I'm starting to... I guess I kind of understand why he didn't... Apparently he doesn't transform in the show. And I guess I understand that. But, you know, it's a, it's a nice little armored truck. They did the best they could do. And such. And the the blaster and satellites look pretty good. You know? Decent guy if you want him. And then, hope y'all have a nice Earth Day. That's why I did this weird gimmick. Peace out. Bye-bye, honkies.